Welcome to Android tutorial and we are discussing about Android Google Firebase cloud messaging and today we are going to see how to develop an app to make MySQLite database data in MySQLite database and SQLite database always in sync using Google Firebase cloud messaging how to develop an app in such a way that both data will be in sync that we are going to see today and this is I have taken that small piece of book movie ticket requirement and to explain this to sync data between web server and Android app and initial setup session we have seen that when user installs the app the Google Firebase it notifies the Google Firebase cloud cloud and then it generates the token ID for the user and it sends back to the user app so then the app sends this token ID to server that is by calling register token dot php and it tends sends the data of token id and this register token id php executes in the server and updates the database and sends the response back that token registered in the server this we have seen in the initial setup session now the user is new user of that book movie ticket app but it already exists so it has some data in the server so we need to take that entire data so for that we are coding get all movies php it, it retrieves the, all the data from the database of the movies and generates the json data and put it in the response that response will send it to the android app this JSON data will have the complete data related to the all movies and we read this JSON data and loads the escalate database in Android app now the both now we both both escalate database and uh, MySQL database both will be in sync now then now we got the data so we displays on the screen using the list view and view pager and cursor adapter we display on the, the list of movies on the screen so when we want to book a ticket it calls the book ticket at php and takes the num it updates the number of available tickets and gives back the response the response will have an updated number of tickets that will be is 99 we booked it here right so this will be 99 so it's updated in the server and gives back that 99 and we update the escalate database so that it will have the updated number of available tickets so this one so when there is a function which is update function it's, it's, it's internally updates the database so this sends to sends to the server and executes in the server it gives back the response and updates the escalate database and when new movie is released and it sends to the google fire cloud place google firebase cloud and cloud will send to the all users of the app so that that will be updated in the escalate database in the android app and it will be displaced in the end of the end of the list in the screen here so here two records are there now third record will be this here it will be displayed so in this way you code when there is update functionality in your in your app and it calls the this is only 
one functionality that is book ticket it calls the book ticket and updates the server database and then it gives back the response and we update in the SQLite database and this one will be get refreshed automatically so in such a way that we code whenever there is update it will be automatically refreshed on the screen in and in that functionality we code in such a way that we code corresponding PHP and update the database response and uh, update the escalate database and it refreshed on the screen and when there is a new movie the server will send the message and send to the all users of the app and we update the escalate database here and uh, add the new row here and of the list here. so this is the way if you code using Google Firebase cloud message, is always data will be in the sync. So how to code for this requirement? And see, we'll see in the next session. And this is the end of the session.